All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh. My name is Raven from the Sky, and let's continue. Huh? This will go many ways. I'm gonna open up with this. I know I could get the head, but I'm gonna open up with Car Car D because when I use Part of Duality, and when I search, go to search, it'd be pieces right up front where I would have drew into had I not. You know, because the deck's gonna get shuffled after I, you know, search with Sangan or Witch of the Black Forest. I'm tired of that. So we're gonna use card card D first. Uh, of course. Of course not. Of course not, right? That's how it happens. Any other time, it'd been the arm and a leg right up there, or arm. And then three or four cards later, a leg or another arm. <laughs> oh, facing E heroes again. That dude, what did he use? I don't think it was E heroes, it was something else. That duelist icon back in GX, what did he use? I can't even remember. I gotta go and look. Icon, he had Exodia, but he he, was a, he cheated. It was the remember the rare hunters, but I didn't make that build. I don't think you can even use that build online. I used it in the single player to try to grind out decks really quick. When you first get the game, I think that's what everyone does: grind, uh, get, make it to the rare hunters, grind the deck, unlock it, and then use that deck throughout the the, the majority or the entirety of the game. Cheating Exodia. Bomb. Bet. Bet, bet, bet. You know, just in case. Twin twisters and whatnot. Never actually get an actual piece. Trust me. I mean, you can... Okay, if you're confident enough, and you think that oh, he's just not going to destroy it, that's, that's true. There's some truth to that. But as... Judging by the, if you've seen the last duels I've been having, they've been bouncing this back and removing it and, and crap. If I had selected a piece, man, we would have might as well just say, hang it up, we lose. Because the only other way you could win is if I nuke the field and have Trigodi out with a full hand of cards and Trigodi be at some beefy attack and just keep hitting him directly. Emphasis on nuke the field. You know what I mean? Mirror Force or something like that. But you don't chance that this is an Exodia deck, not a, a, a brute strength deck, beat force deck to fight back. This is meant for you to get Exodia. Maybe that the Trigodia is for defense purpose, for purposes to hide behind. When you have a hand, full hand like this and his attack is really high and they can't really get past him while you draw the pieces. That's what he's for. He's not to sit there and win by beating them down now of course if you want to you know knock the field down a little bit knock them down to like two cards you know I, I get it but for the most part that's not what he's you know he's not for uh this isn't an offensive deck let me put it that way instead of talking in circles it's to get exodia quickly and efficiently and he's about to oh, see see what i mean look at that i would have drew two pieces now guess what and I, and of course they're not going to beat it. And look at that. Look what's down. Uh, look what I mean? Another arm and another arm. <laughs> now it's going to get shuffled into the deck. Gee, great going Raven. All I had to do was wait two turns. Uh, Of course, when I use card card D, oh, then there were no pieces. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. When I go to search, look what happens. There would have been two pieces right there. Three. Another five turns. Uh-oh. Now, I could start attacking, but if he removes Vampire Dragon, 
Mm. Let's see, if he destroys them both, I'll get the effect of Emissary, but I might miss the timing for Dr Vampire Dragon. See, that's when Yu-Gi-Oh! Gets, gets tricky like this. The spell speeds and stuff like that. And the timing. Everything won't activate just because it says it on the card. If the time is off, you won't get it. Entire destroy until they get. Clone. Cloning. That ain't bad, especially like if you're facing the blue eyes. That's not cloning. I've never heard of that card. That's not bad at all. At all, man. Take out the 1900. But you got mirror force. Uh, magical cylinder. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's old school right there. Magical cylinder. Can't count him out yet, man. He he draws uh, miracle fusion or super polymerization. It's over. It is over. At least we'll get two pieces out of it though when he destroys my field. But yeah, I love playing Exodia. Hmm. Mm -mm. Skyscraper. Bye bye, Vampire Dragon. Yep. That's fine. Only benefits. Okay, he's thinking about whether or not he will destroy because he he knows I'm gonna get an exotic piece. That's why he's sitting there thinking about it. Uh huh. Keep thinking. Doesn't matter because I'll just run in. I'll run into that token and get a piece. Either way, I'm gonna get an exotic piece. <laughs> hey, look at that. See, that's why he didn't attack. As if that matters. Cause our reborn, uh, let me see. E heal monster. If he attacks, our reborn vampire dragon. So all I got to do. Oh. Actually, I should do Witch of the Black Forest. I wasn't thinking. But either way, I'm going to get a piece. So who cares? Just I get to run over that 1900. That's the only thing. I don't know what's up with this dude's E Heroes. He should be kicking my butt. He should have like three or four fusions on the field by now.
Okay. That only, dude, you shuffling a deck only helps with Exodia. Thanks, I'll get another piece. Either way, I'm getting a piece. I'm gonna shuffle it again. Liberty at last. I got that card in in in, in real life. Palmerization. I knew it after a while. It took you so long. Everybody else have e heroes. They be they bring out mess in the first turn. Didn't he have like summer reactors SK or something like that? That that guy can't remember. I don't think it was e heroes though. I could be wrong. Oh no, it's two cards, so evenly I couldn't activate evenly matched. Ah, uh, dang it! Could take a chance. Card, card D or a slap down Cyber Valley, but yeah, we'll do card, card D. We might get the last two pieces. Who knows? Nope. <laughs> you got the upper hand. I want to take a chance. Yeah, see ya. Mm, that was a tough decision. Ooh, I made a made a tough decision. Come on, dude. One card. What else can you do? Unless you got super promenization in your hand. What can you do but in your turn? Just in your turn. Anybody got all day? Thank you. Got my subscribers sitting here all day looking at you think. You will be matched again. What's the game right here in my hand? Uh
<laughs> oh man. You said that thought about that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the sky. If you enjoyed the episode, do me a favor and drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Be sure to ring that bell so you don't miss an upload. I'm out of here. Peace.